Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. And guys, today in this session, we are going to discuss the important questions of quantum mechanics. So this will be our rapid fire session for quantum mechanics important formulae in which we will consider the formulae of quantum mechanics which are very 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 important and related to which you can expect the questions in your upcoming CSR net exam, the gate physics exam and all other similar exams too. So all the formulae will be very important. Some will be the kind of tricks we use uh, when we solve such type of questions based on these formulae. So I hope everything is gonna be so much helpful for all of you guys. And I hope even you all are ready to write down the formulae based on uh, the topics which we will consider, okay? So guys, uh, we are gonna take the first, question, uh, first formula uh, from the quantum mechanics part now. And if you are new on this channel, that is Mission Net Physics exam, you can even subscribe this channel. If you are finding the videos helpful for yourself, you can even share these videos with your friends because then the videos will even help them in their preparation. So now let's quickly start the discussion. The first formula which we need to consider here is if you know, if you know that the potential expression is equal to or is proportional to x in this way as I am writing it here that is x lambda x to the power let's say here you are gonna have uh, nu okay nu let's take the symbol nu if you are not comfortable in writing nu you can even take some other symbol here okay so it is just representing a constant if you want to write w you want to write t anything you can write okay so this is another constant okay that is integer now you uh, you need to tell me one thing that if you want to find the nth state energy and its dependency on n clear nth state energy dependency on n then how it will be dependent on n or if you want to find the nth state dependency on lambda what is lambda this is the constant lambda then what are the formula you will use here just to know about these dependencies okay if you can recall the formula just write it down quickly and then i'm going to write it here as well so en if you want to check its dependency on n it will be 2 into nu that is this nu upon 2 plus nu while if you want to know about the dependency on lambda it will be just 2 upon 2 plus nu or nu plus 2 whatever you want you can write in the denominator because you are just adding both so you can simply write either nu plus 2 or 2 plus nu in the denominator part okay i hope now anytime if you will have any such type of question it will be quite easy for you even this is a kind of trick you can consider which will help you to find the answer for any such type of question easily and quickly now let's talk about the next formula uh, which we need to consider here done so the next formula will be related to this thing that if any time you are having any wave function given to you at time t is equal to 0 and you want to find the wave function at any later time t then what you will do in that case what will be uh, the term you will multiply what will be the expression so you know the wave function at time t is equal to 0 and you want to find the wave function expression at time t is equal to capital T then how you can write this wave function when you know this it's given and you have to find this that is the question now so for this condition what you will do and it is like one of the most uh, common type of question you can expect in the exam uh, related to this part excuse me even you can get the question in the exam clear so just think what you will do in this case and if you don't know, I'm going to tell you now. So it's going to be basically psi at time t is equal to capital T. Okay, you will just have to multiply the wave function which you know at time t is equal to 0 with e to the power minus iota e and t. Okay, that will be capital T at whatever time you want to find the wave function upon h cut. Okay, and just multiply it with the wave function at time t is equal to 0 which you already know. So this is how you can find the wave function at time t is equal to capital T if you know the wave function at time t is equal to 0. Okay, what you have done? You have considered e to the power minus iota e and t upon h cut. You will multiply it with the different states. For example, 
if this sine t at t is equal to 0 which has been given to you is like in the form of superposition of two different states wave function one is sin naught x the another one is sin 1 x so depending on these states now like here n is equal to 0 here n is equal to 1 you have to consider the corresponding state energy at this place when you will multiply that term with the particular states okay so this is how you have to consider it it's not like every time you will just have same energy no it will depend on which with which a state wave function or what is that particular n value for that particular term you are taking and corresponding to that you will write the energy here is it all right i hope it's clear okay and you can even check out the related question if uh, this is the new concept you are going to prepare and you were not familiar with it earlier so i hope once you will start working on the questions you will simply be able to get the uh, right uh, way of considering the formula in the related questions now our third formula guys we are going to consider here will be the third one is how you will be able to find the uncertainty in any of the operators okay so yeah if you know write it down because there is a point in this uncertainty formula where there are chances of making mistake if you are the one who makes the mistake at that same point you need to improve it okay and how you can improve it how you can just make a good command on that expression we will talk about it right now for example you want to find the uncertainty in any operator let's say the operator is a okay so what will happen in this case you will just have to consider square root of what the expectation value of a square operator done and minus the expectation value of a operator and its square so there is a difference in both the terms here you will firstly have to find a square and then find its expectation value okay that is a square expectation value while the expectation value of a and then its square so both are the different things and what is the expectation value formula here i'm just going to mention it if you want to find it for the operator a for any state sign so it will be sine a sine okay upon sine sine so this is how like the wave function corresponding to which you want to find the expectation value of any operator if you want to find it for a square you have to write the a square here if you want to find it only for a you have to write the a there okay this is how you can consider it and you can simply find the answer for any such type of question clear so i hope it's clear i hope now this expression is making the expectation value formula clear to you the uncertainty formula clear to you the difference between both the terms clear to you and one more point we were talking about that how you can make a good command on this expression and you will stop making any kind of mistake uh, in this expression and when you will be writing it so basically guys what you need to do you need to consider it in this way that will be a funny way of uh, discussion but again it will make the things more clear to you so it's good okay you can consider it in that way now the point is which one is more powerful a square or a obviously you will say okay it's a square which is more powerful now if you are providing the boundaries to like the kind of safety okay to a and even to a square again which one is more powerful again the first one because it was already the square of that okay and then you have provided it a kind of uh, you can say the bodyguards are there or uh, there is a kind of more safety for that term okay while even if you will take the square of this because already it was a stronger and then you have provided it a kind of uh, more safety clear and here it was not that much strong in comparison to this one but still you have provided it a kind of more safety okay so the point is still it will be more stronger and when it is more stronger you are writing it first and then you are writing it secondly clear so this is a kind of comparison you can do and uh, just after comparing in this way you can consider it on your own that what will be the best way to think about it and to relate it with which concept you want to re relate it and that's how just make such type of tricks so that everything will be clear to you let's take our fourth formula for quantum mechanics now so guys that is related to the scattering cross section how you can write the total scattering cross section that's what you need to consider here done so if you can recall it if you know uh, that then you can just consider it right now and if you don't know that uh, i'm gonna tell you then 
so think about it just try to consider it okay and if you can recall that it's very good so basically guys the formula for the total scattering cross section will be what it's going to be sigma is equal to 4 pi upon k square okay and summation l is equal to 0 to infinity and then 2l plus 1 and then sin square delta l okay this is how you have to consider it so l values the information regarding that will be given to you like if we are considering the s wave scattering so for the s wave what will be the l value that will be zero so this is how you need to know about it either they will provide you exactly the l value in the question or they will provide you that okay it is the s wave then accordingly you have to take its value delta will be the phase shift part so that's how you have to consider it while if we are going to talk about the k that will be related to wave vector clear so that's how like just by having all the information about it you can simply find the total scattering cross section and i hope it's going to be quite easy for you in this way the another the fifth formula we are going to consider will be related to what that's going to be related to the expectation value of x square or expectation value of y square or expectation value of z square for the harmonic oscillator so if you can recall it if you know about it it is just a kind of trick and quickly just in one single step you can write the expectation value of x square if i'm going to ask you what is the expectation value of x for the harmonic oscillator what is the answer do you know that it's going to be zero okay but what about the expectation value of x square for the harmonic oscillator it will be h cut upon 2m omega 2nx plus 1 okay so if you will have to write it for n uh, y square you will just have to write to n y in place of n x you will make the changes if you want to write it for z square you have to write a 2 n z there if you want to write it for the expectation value of r square you will just have to consider expectation value of x square plus y square plus z square and that's it this is how you can write it simply it's gonna be h squared upon 2 m omega okay and what what will be here 2nx plus 1 2ny plus 1 and 2nz plus 1 so basically if somebody will ask you to find it the expectation value of r square for what for uh, let's say first excited state second excited state according to the given condition in the question you will take the nx ny and nz values and that's how you will be able to get your final answer for any such type of question so guys i hope it's clear to you and simply you can write the expression in this way and if you will have any doubt anywhere you can let me know about it all the formula which we have considered are very important from the quantum mechanics part and i hope this rapid fire session is gonna help you to recall to practice to just revise all these important formulae quickly and you are even getting on which formulae on which topics you need to work more you need to revise them again and again and i hope that thing will help you to make a good command on all those important expressions so thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end i hope everything is clear to all of you now at the end i'm just gonna quickly provide you the information about the unacademy plus subscription so guys if you want to attend the more regular live classes by the top educators we are having on unacademy plus for your upcoming CSR net physics exam preparation or for the gate physics exam preparation then you can take the unacademy plus subscription if you think you want to get the guidance if you want to cover up more topics many topics you want to cover up major portion from the slavers in less time then i think it will be good for you okay and with the help of unacademy plus subscription you will be able to cover up the major portion in very less time and guys whenever you are going to take the unacademy plus subscription you can even use and apply the referral code which is anjali aurora as mentioned here on the screen and by using and by applying this referral code you will be able to get the 10 percent discount in the total unacademy plus subscription amount another thing is that since uh, we are going to have the doubt clearing sessions in each and every course so if you will have any doubts anywhere if something will not be clear to you and you want to ask about that okay 
so you will be able to ask about it in the doubt clearing session for example if some course is going on right now because in upcoming days many new courses will start you can even start attending the live classes of those important new courses the well structured and well planned courses by the top educators from the starting if you will take the subscription right now for the upcoming courses you will be able to start attending the sessions from the starting as they will be the new courses but if you want to check out the sessions of any of the ongoing courses and some of the classes have already been conducted in those courses then guys in that case in each and every course we will also have the doubt clearing sessions okay so let's say you are watching the recordings of, of those previous classes which you have missed and you have not attended earlier you are just checking the recordings right now because recordings are available to you so if you will have any doubts at any point of time then again you can ask about them in the doubt clearing sessions and everything will be clear to you so guys i hope in this way everything is going to be clear to you and as well as the things will help you to take your preparation to the next level to a very good level and guys if you want to take the on academy plus subscription then in that case you can Uh, download the an academy learning app and you can select your goal for example csr ucc net and you can proceed further to take the subscription and you can use and apply the referral code as well so as you will write you will apply the referral code at, at the same time you will get the 10% discount in the total an academy plus subscription amount another thing is you can either download the an academy learning app or you can uh directly search on academy plus on google and then you can proceed further to take the subscription and guys there are going to be many important courses for different streams okay uh, for csr net exam preparation even for the part a that means the general part for all the streams we are going to have the courses on on academy plus so you will even be able to prepare for the part a with those important courses so guys i hope now each and everything is clear to all of you and thank you so much everyone for watching this session till the end thank you i hope everything is clear to all of you and if you are new on this channel that is mission net physics exam then you can even subscribe this channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video and uh, you can even share it with your friends thank you everyone